have the pleasure of speaking with Greg Fenton from Zentech. How are you today? Great, Tracy. Good morning. I'll tell you, Greg, you've had so much news lately, but of most significant interest to me personally, it seems like the HVAC world is huge. That's a, that's a huge sector. Can you give us an update with what Zentech is doing there, please? Sure, Tracy. I'd love to. Yeah, we're, uh, we're focused uh, quite acutely on the HVAC uh, uh, sector right now. As we've uh, talked about over the past uh, five or six months, we are testing our unique antimicrobial coating on HVAC filters. Um, our, our ZenGuard coating has been demonstrated to be effective against most airborne pathogens, i.e. pathogens that travel in aerosolized droplets. So we decided to test our coating on HVAC filters. We initially started in the personal protective equipment space, but we quickly um, added the HVAC space because what we had learned through the pandemic is that existing HVAC systems were actually contributing to the spread of COVID-19. So these aerosolized droplets would be taken into an HVAC system and then actually distributed throughout a room and it was exposing more and more people to it. So we thought that if we could utilize our coating on HVAC filters, perhaps that could make a difference. So the government of Canada had a challenge in December of 2021 where they basically had calls for proposals for groups that had interesting technologies to assist in the fight against COVID-19. So we won that challenge. In phase one of the challenge, we demonstrated that our uh, compound was efficacious, i.e. it actually killed pathogens. Two, it was safe. It didn't cause any harm. It was actually demonstrated that the, the coating didn't come off the, the fibers. And then the third criteria was that it, it couldn't impede existing airflow through the filters. So in April of this year, uh, we announced that we had passed phase one and we've moved to phase two. Phase two, they're actually testing it in a real world environment. They've mocked up a classroom where they'll actually put pathogens into the, into the classroom and then measure the effectiveness of a Zengard coated filter in that, in that uh, environment. Um, that testing is beginning as we speak, um, and we hope to have results for that in the coming weeks. If we're successful, uh, then the Government of Canada becomes an immediate client of ours. Um, they will uh, procure from us for a period of three years minimum. Uh, what else I can tell you about that is there are a number of external groups that are at the table looking at this, both public and private sector. I think you would be uh, pretty amazed at who's looking at this. The person that's running this at the NRC in Ottawa is world renowned. He is a leader in this space and he has told us that he has not seen anything um, even close to what we've been able to achieve so far. So we're, we're very excited about this and think we could have this product in the market later this year. I heard you. Safe, efficacious against pathogens. I am absolutely certain the type of uh, balance sheet one could have as you secure those contracts and of course make our world a much safer and healthier place. Very excited by this update. Thank you so much, Gray. And also, you know, you've, you've uh, of course, uh, listed in the U.S. now and you have appointed a new board member. So can you give us an update on your new board member, please? We have. We're very proud to uh, and fortunate to have Ilsa Turnick join us. Uh, Ilsa uh, used to be or was a former CEO of Mars Discovery here in, in Toronto. Uh, so she is, um, this is her words, not mine. She is a science nerd, a science geek, and she absolutely loves what we're doing. So she's taken numerous companies from the incubation stage right through to commercialization. Uh, she's got a tremendous science background. Uh, she's a perfect fit for what we're trying to do and, and guide the company as we move forward. Her expertise will be invaluable to us. Uh, she, she also has a very strong background in ESG and impact investing. We are, we're obviously a very, very interesting impact in ESG related story. Uh, so all of these things resonated very well with her, and I think she's going to provide wonderful guidance for us going forward. So we're really honored to have Ilsa join our board. 
Uh, congratulations. I, I saw the bio and thought, wow, this is indeed impressive. And of course, those of us that are in the stock market, public markets every day, we're always interested in commercialization. And it looks like your sales team has been enhanced as well since we spoke last. Can you talk to us a little bit about this? Sure. We've hired Mo Deeb. Mo uh, has a background in medical devices sales. Uh, so Mo's been with us since uh, late May. And he's uh, already, he's put together a very aggressive and uh, substantial uh, sales plan uh, that he's already put into to motion both here in Canada, but globally as well uh, in preparation for our approval in other jurisdictions with respect to our Zengard coating on, on surgical masks. And then Mo will also be involved in the HVAC market as well. So. There's a big world out there, a really uh, untapped world with respect to antimicrobial and the opportunity for us. So uh, Mo's, uh, we're really excited to have Mo with us focusing on this because as I said, there's just so much interest in this product from around the globe. Well, there certainly seems to be a lot of interest in Zentec overall. Can you give us any hints on what we might anticipate in this upcoming quarter? This upcoming quarter, I would say that uh, the, 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 the closest line of sight is, is the HVAC and potential opportunities in the PPE space. I would be looking for those. I think those will be real catalysts uh, for our stock. I think if uh, when people dig in and see how big the HVAC and, and uh, PPE markets are, um, and even again, making very conservative assumptions, there's tremendous opportunity and scope for us there. And I would say, stay tuned. We've got uh, a, a lot more technological developments that we'll be uh, we'll be bringing to market uh, over the coming uh, over the coming weeks. Well, Greg, as always, what a pleasure! Thank you for the update on Zentech today. Thanks, Tracy.